a brand new Let's Play. This is by Ben Presto. Yes, that's right. This is a Japanese game. And as I cannot read Japanese, this is going to be a blind Let's Play. This is a, a game, a Japanese export, my fav one of my favorite animes and mangas ever. Galaxy Express 399. This is going to be a terrific game, and I cannot wait to play it. I did play like uh, 25 minutes of it, and it was, it was already looking really good. The thing is, though, I have not seen a Let's Play of this game at all on YouTube, which is either means no one likes it and no one wants to play it, or that people have been yanking this stuff down. I don't know. We'll find out with the first episode. So yeah, this is based off of uh, the the Leiji Mats, uh, Mazimoto, or Matsumoto, whatever. Le Leiji, what's his name? The guy who makes Galaxy Express. I don't even know his name. He's terrific, though. And I love Galaxy Express. So this should be a lot of fun to play. It's an action... Uh, I don't even know what the hell it is. I'm not going to lie to you. I just want to play it because I actually picked up the game at uh, the Connecticut Comic Con. And I saw that it was a Galaxy Express game, and I said, I gotta play this. I came home, I ripped it, and boom, boom, bang, I'm going to play it. It looked pretty fun, and it looked, the graphics looked terrific. We got a lot of, we got a lot of anime, a lot of voice acting, a lot of anime cutscene kind of things. So it should be a lot of fun. This is the story of Galaxy Express 3.9. Let's play. I'm Kenshin1913. If I haven't mentioned it. So what is this story about? You're wondering. Well, the story is about a boy named Tetsuro, who, who meets this woman named Maytel. Who is the inspiration of the character that I named in Dragon Quest IX? And, uh, yeah. We're gonna play. I don't know what any of this means. So I'm not worried. I'm just gonna. I'm not using the analog for this game. We're just gonna go. So let's play a new game. And we're gonna name our character. We can either be this boy, who is a young Tetsuro. And then there's other people. I don't know who they are. So let's be a young. Tetsuro, although I'm not sure if that's who it is. And then I'm just going to kind of pick uh, letters that I think look cool, like this one. This one looks kind of neat. I'll take one of those. And then finally, this kind of looks like a back... No, this looks like a C. Alright, so there we go. Let's start the game. We're done. So let's start the game. Circle seems to be the accept button. So I'm going to talk over the voice acting. Because so they can they saw the Galaxy Express. <laughs> and someone just killed Tetsuro's mother. Oh my god. And look who it is. He's now Tetsuro is going to Count Mecha's castle in order to take him on to kill him for killing his mother. He will never forgive. And I don't know what that says. Now, hopefully, I won't get thrown out of YouTube for this. Because, like I said, there is no videos of this game up 
anywhere. And I want to be the pioneer to get people to watch this. To check out this game. Because it looks really good. I have no idea what he's saying, by the way. He's probably just saying something like, Oh, I'm going to get these robot guys for killing my mom. And these robot guys are probably saying like, Whoa, they Count Mecha totally bagged some hot broad today. Hopefully we won't have to be in them guards anywhere. And let a little kid come in and do whatever the hell he wants. So yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy this, because I enjoyed the hell out of Galaxy Express 3.9. It's one of my favorite animes of all time. I watched it when I, uh, when I was uh, a young lad watching Saturday anime on the Sci-Fi channel. And then there was this one girl that I saw. She was dressed up in uh, some weird outfit cosplaying or whatever. She was a professional cosplayer back in the day or whatever. And she was showing off these movies on a Saturday evening when I was a young kid. And look, there's his mother. He turned it, his mother into like a weird thing. And there's Count Mecca right there. Count Mecca's a boy. Why did you kill my mother? I didn't kill you. I just was just a little boy. Mada ato hon no sunen wa ikirare ru mono. Kasan no katake o utsu no ga tsumaranai kanjo datta yu no ka. Dou ya to yatte katake o utsu no da ne? Yeah, so what does he think he, he's surrounded by these robot guys? It's just this little kid. He's not going to be able to defeat Count Mecha. Hey! Tato e shin datte yurusu mon ka. Watashi no collection ni sonna kitanai mono wa iran. Uh-huh. Ooh. So it looks like Tetsuro has uh, failed in his mission. Who's this guy? Yeah, some of Leiji Matsumoto's uh, uh, design of characters, kind of, they kind of look similar. One character that really came out of this series is this guy called Captain Harlock. He's pretty badass. I'm sure we're going to meet him in this game. Kokoa. So it looks like Tetsuro just had some sort of uh, bad dream about his mommy. And in the anime or the manga, he's actually not that tiny. I don't know if we're really playing as him or what. And here is Kimiwa. the wonderful woman, Maytel. She's like one of my favorite anime broads of all time. So yeah, what Tetsuro wants to do is he wants to get on the Galaxy Express so that he can uh, head to, I forget what planet it is, Andromeda or something, so he can get himself a robot body and be sort of immortal like Count Mecha. Then he can go and defeat Count Mecha. And apparently he's met with uh, Maytel here. Who will, who's going to try and help him get on here. And he actually thinks Maytel is his mother the first time he sees her because she kind of looks like him. So I have no idea what these guys are saying. Yeah. So the basic gist of what happens with... Oh, so now he wants to meet Captain Harlock, maybe? 
宇宙にたった4兆しか存在しないと言われるそんなの手に入りっこないよそうねじゃあお金を貯めて機械の体を買うしかないのか、uh-huh. これがなんだかわかる So she's going to give him a boarding pass so that he can get on the Galaxy Express. Because Maytel must be she's a very nice lady. And she must be like、uh, super rich. Because tickets for the Galaxy Express are actually very expensive to get. I'm not exactly sure why she's helping him out. But I'm sure Tetsuro is going to be very happy. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So now we're going to head to the Galaxy Express? Is that what we're going to do? Because I haven't actually played anything yet. Oh, so Maytel is going to journey along with us. Yeah, so the kind of gist of.、Uh, and this guy here, he's the conductor of the Galaxy Express. He's like my brother, but he's like a black mage. He's pretty cool. He's a cool. Anyways, what was I going to say? So the gist of Galaxy Express 3 9 is. I believe、uh, Tetsuro. Him and Maytel are on a journey. They're going on and they're going to different planets in the galaxy. And then they like, have some adventures and whatnot. And as they get closer to Andromeda, they find out more, and more about like,、uh, what's been going down there and the interesting weird things. So, yeah, I don't know what these guys are. I know I keep, I'm going to say that like, over and over. I really apologize. All aboard. So let's get on the Galaxy Express. And this is the computer. The engine room. See,、so yeah, I just think that it, I love the idea of a Galaxy Express being like an old steam engine train. I don't know, I just think it's really cool. And actually, back in Japan, I don't know if they still have this. I, I used to look up stuff about Galaxy Express Nine, And inter- interestingly enough, they used to have a train that looked like the Three Nine that would be on the railroad tracks. And I want to say, in the airport or in the train station, in one of the stations in Japan, they actually have a Maytel statue in there, which I think is really cool. Now, the thing about Galaxy Express 3.9 is I think it was drawn back in the 70s, that's why some of the artwork might look quote unquote dated. But I, I like this style a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I'm going to see the Earth. I don't know why So now he's leaving Earth, he might never see it again. But he's determined to.、Uh, He's determined to、uh, beat Count Mecha. And that bird up there is actually the bird, I believe,、uh, it's Count Harlock's bird. Someone's actually listening and can hear over my mouth. And hear what they're actually saying. Please put anything that you can possibly understand in the, in the,、uh, in the videos or in your comments because it'd be kind of nice to know exactly what they're saying. But I'm, I'm only assuming certain things. So, yeah, let's save the game. And, I, and I, let's、uh, save over this. There we go. So, yeah, we're playing. A, I think it's a young Tetsuro, but. Actually, he's supposed to look a little older. So I don't know if it's actually Tetsuro. Or if it's supposed to be a younger version of him. I don't know. Kasei-ni-fuku-kaze-no-oto-wa-sono-akai-sna-no-shita-de-nemuru-mono-no-susuri-naki-da-to-hito-wa-yu. 
大事な友を少しでも引き止めようと赤い砂人が舞うのだと。I get you. I get you. I understand it all. Well, maybe not, but. So we're going near Mars, assuming. It's a red planet, of course. Or no, wait. Shouldn't we be going the other way? Anyways. This, I don't know who this guy is. But、uh, I really like the animated cutscene. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get flagged for this. And that, that's the only thing I can think of that why this is on the internet. Uh oh. Plane's gonna crash into the Galaxy Express. Yeah, so there's some sort of plane gonna be crashing into the Galaxy Express. Oh, what? Could the Kiwayondo? I can't. Did you know? Maybe she's saying there's some sort of force field. I don't know. So he's coming here to warn the, to warn the、uh, this guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here to warn the guy here. So he's coming here Yeah, so I'm assuming they're saying how why can't you just change things? So yeah, the, the conductor he's kind of like a he's kind of like a guy he's not so sure of himself. He's he's uh he's a little antsy in the pantsy, you know what I mean? And it looks like we couldn't stop the collision. Oh, not the good one. どうなったの？あの宇宙船を守るために機関車さんが振動を解除して機関車さんやる。いや、what's the deal？わかんでる。前ですか？通信力ゼロだとどうなるの？通学します。しかも通信設備が壊れたから助けを呼べません。Alright
哲郎さんがいなかったら今頃あなたはお前がお前がいいんだよ俺は海の広し地,地球からいや、yeah, like、かそれからやっとのことで宇宙船を作る。You know, お前は俺は星野哲郎。この銀河鉄道をすりない。Yep. So、now... We need to collect 本格的な修理は大スチール製機でするとして燃料バルブとそれとこの圧力弁とキャタラそその通りです詳しいんだな、mm-hmm. まあそれで車掌さんこの部品をヒロシと買ってくるええそうですここから2 0キロほど西のスクラップヒルの町任せてくれそれとスクラップヒルの町では Yeah, so the Galaxy Express probably can't leave until we collect these things. So it looks like this guy's gonna help us.、Uh, I'm gonna call him older Tetsuo, he's gonna help younger Tetsuo collect、uh, stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, let me go. Alright, so now we can actually explore the world as our characters, but I'm actually gonna save that for the next episode.、Uh, I, yeah, we'll see, we can run around.、Uh, and I'll show off this stuff later. I don't even know how to, like, there's no pause or anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna stop here, and the next episode we'll continue with Galaxy Express 3 9. This is Mikenshi 1913. I'll see you later.